Hi, this is Jeff. Uh, I have the day off tomorrow, and I thought I would do something a little different. I uh, People think I'm weird, and I guess they're probably right. Um, but I wanted to explain some percussion concepts that, that aren't mine alone. They're really kind of universal, but for people who don't know much about percussion, they might be, you know, kind of interesting. Um, so, the basic idea for me as a percussionist, one of my MOs, if you will, is that if I'm truly a musician and I get a new instrument, I'm going to find as many ways to play it as possible so I can pull those out of my personal little toolbox if I get into a playing situation. So, I have as an example, this is a Western Temple Walk, uh, mass-produced version of the beautiful curved Chinese Temple Walks that are incredibly expensive. So, uh, I have this, and this little instrument, there are a number of different ways I can play it. I'm just going to demonstrate those as quickly as I can. First of all, I've got a standard brush. This is actually, I'm looking to the left because my monitor's over there. Um, standard brush, it's actually a plastic brush, so simply strike it. A little bit more sound, about the center. Then I can scrape. So, uh, next I have just a standard drum stick, stick for drum, stick para uh, tambor, perhaps. This is a Tabali stick, but it works well enough. It's a louder sound with more attack. Pretty sure you could hear that. And you can also do a scrape with the drumstick. This is with the tip. If you want a little more spread out sound, go a little further up. You can also play the edge, but that doesn't work as well on this. Uh, next, another drum stick, stick for drum, that has some mole foam on the butt end. A little bit softer, a little bit more denser sound. More denser is not a word. Can't really scrape with this one. Again, uh, standard multi-rod. You don't know, this is a bundle of dowels, traditionally known as a bundle stick, that are, in this case, put together with plastic. These are bamboo. I believe no, these are not. These are hickory, maple, one of one of the other, something like that. But anyway, the rod, and of course, so we're basically using the same couple of techniques, but with different implements, and each time you get a slightly different sound. These are my favorite Steve Smith Talawans. They are bamboo. No, these are birch. Sorry, these are birch. I got these before they made the bamboo ones. Same thing, but a little bit softer, a little bit. I love these. This is about just about the fa my favorite thing ever. My little rubber thing got in the way, but you get the idea. Then we can go to mallets from a soft mallet. Um, my favorite mallets, the Regal Tip Mayhems. They work for everything from timpani to bass drums to cymbals, everything. Um, and wood blocks. A little pseudo clave there. Moving on to a yarn mallet, like so. Really soft scrape sound there. And then to a rubber mallet. And actually, I tried earlier. I have some phenolic or plastic mallets that sound almost identical to these in timbre. Now, the function here is the word I used a minute ago, timbre. That's T-I-M-B-R-E. It is not a tree. Uh, timbre is the physical sound that the instrument makes. There are more technical definitions, but that's suitable for this video. <clears throat> You get a different loud, soft, uh, I'm sorry, louder, quieter, softer, harder. Those, All those things make up timbre. And so I basically played more or less the same thing with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight implements, but it sounds a little bit different each time. The, the basic tone of the block stays the same. If you want to use the word tone, I know it's technically not correct, but the timbre differs. Okay, so the last thing, which it's one of my favorites, is to simply play it by hand with the thumb. 
And some of you may be thinking, how's anybody going to hear that? That's awfully quiet. That's what microphones are for. Then with the fingers. And you can do very light pad scraping. I don't even know if you can hear that over my air conditioner. Then we move to the, the, the nails. I'm giving you a chance to hear it. The nails. So that's just a little basic demonstration of one of my concepts of percussion is that any one instrument, even the lowly block of wood, can sound like multiple instruments depending on what you strike it with and what techniques you use. And there are other weirder ways of doing this, but it's just a basic idea, but I apply this to cymbals, to drums, to blocks, cowbells, you name it. I have probably 20 different ways to play it. So thank you for watching and see you soon.